Oh my God, bro. So today we're actually gonna be headed to the miniature Wunderland. Right, ladies and gentlemen, today is going to be a very special day. A lot of you guys have messaged me for the last few years about this. I think you guys might remember I did a reaction many years ago on the miniature Vodelan, and that's where we're going to be visiting today. I am incredibly hyped because it's one thing, like I said, to watch everyone else's experiences going to the miniature Vodelan, but there have been updates on and restructuring of that place since I did that reaction, and I'm incredibly excited. So if you can and you do like this video, feel free to drop a like. Well, as you can see, we're finally here at the Miniature Wunderland. Right there, it's in the background. Right across the pond, dude. I know it's not a pond, it's just a figure of speech. But it's unreal, it's unreal. Like my heart's racing right now because like I said, I've seen it. And like from what I saw in the, in the video that I watched, it was a, a replica of Germany in this tiny little like area and stuff like that. It's 86 times smaller than real life, which is insane. I don't know what the measurement of that is, but that's insane. So there it is, we're gonna go inside and view everything and have a nice little whatever. It's right now, if you guys are curious about the weather, like man, it looks kind of cold out there. It's a little chilly. Like I mentioned it before, it's zero degrees in Hamburg, Celsius. So. Little a little chilly, you might need some handschuhe. I don't have that, so my hands look a little oh. This is something you guys told me to do, by the way. You guys told me to do this. Now, one more thing. A lot of you guys are wondering, what is my favorite city in Germany? Hamburg, off the Eins. Hamburg, off the Eins. Oh, oh, oh. Is it Mookies? <laughs> Bock of Mookies? Is it Mookies? Uh, Back of Mookies and 44 PS. We are suchen, we are suchen dich. My German has seen tremendous progress over the years, and I have a lot to thank for that. Consistency, some discipline, but I've noticed that a lot of you guys actually are on language learning journeys as well, and I have a wonderful deal exclusively for you guys through our sponsor today, Lingoda. Now, a lot of you guys may have heard of this company before and might ask yourselves, what is Lingoda? Or who is Lingoda? Lingoda is a website that offers a variety of languages and the loads of teachers that are willing to teach you 24 seven, anytime you want. What's really cool about Lingoda though, is that they value consistency. Just like I mentioned, consistency is key. I mean, if you don't practice, you won't retain the information. You know that saying, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. That's a thing, and Lingoda rewards you for that. There's actually this thing called the Sprint Challenge, and I'm pretty sure you're probably like, what is that? The Sprint Challenge is a challenge where you have 60 days to complete 30 classes to get 50% cash back or 30 Lingoda credits that you can apply to cash in for other classes that you can take at the Lingoda site. Or you can spend 60 days completing 60 classes and getting 50% cash back or 60 credits, which means you can apply those credits to more classes on the Lingoda site and get even more advanced in the language that you're learning. Trust me. It works. In fact, I took a few classes myself and I absolutely enjoyed it. Was bedeutet uh, es geht? Ich habe nicht gehört. Okay, Scotland. Okay. Ich weiß nicht. Um, mehr oder weniger wie mm, ich bin okay. So, so, so. Oh, so, so. I immediately noticed the very intimate setting that the class held. The teacher was very open and very attentive and willing to answer any question. And that's very important when you're on your language learning journey. What got me started to learn German in the first place was all of you guys. I mean, a lot of you guys subscribed to my channel and I wanted to get to know my subscribers. I met a lot of friends along the way and now I want to get to learn German to speak to my friends and get to communicate with them better because you know some things just translate better in German than they do in English. Hast du das Minito Wunderland besucht? Bisher leider nicht. Ich wollte ja mitkommen beim letzten Mal als ihr da wart. Da habe ich es leider nicht geschafft. Ja, es ist sehr nice bro. Es ist sehr nice. Sehr interessant. Uh, so viel Ausstellung und Mensch und uh, Essen. And I'm pretty sure the same goes for any other language that you guys are trying to learn where you're trying to communicate with people from those countries. You can sign up for Lingoda today and use my code JAMESBRAY2024 and start your language learning journey. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We're here. We're in the inside of this place. As you guys can see, we're inside. There's a lot of stairs to get to the Minutu Wunderland in the building, but look, it's only 41 steps to Vegas, man. Insane. Well, this is where we store our stuff, I guess. Bam. I, I'm trying to store us. Yeah. All right, everybody. We're heading up the stairs to the Miniature Wunderland. And I am hyped. This is what it looks like when you can get up here. It says start. The exhibition is over there. Is that Helena Fisher? 
Oh, that's the visitor count. We're, um, we're no, 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 Helena Fisher, the, the music. It's Helena Fisher. It's Helena Fisher. Helena yeah. Fisher. It's Helena Fisher, bro. James, look, yeah. you can see from where everybody was. was. Really? Sadly, from, from Mars, it's nobody. Yeah, nobody from Mars, Mars man. Dude, what the fuck? Oh, okay. <laughs> 69, oh. Zarland, bro. <laughs> bro, unknown. Unknown. Because they just can't tell. Oh, shit. 23 million people have been here? Yeah. So this is the amount of people that have been to Minotaur yeah. Like That's so cool. The start's right here. Boom. Oh, it goes even higher? So I guess it starts up at the top and we work our way down to the bottom. Dude, this is so cool. So we're here, finally. And this is remarkable. I heard that they alter the, uh, bro, this is insane. Bro, look at this. They alter the exhibition based on like the time of day. So if we look, right? Let's look at the architecture, bro. They got people here, many people. The miniature of Wunderland. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's snowing over here and whatnot. It's so cool. And then you have the trains, bro. Look at the trains. Oh my God. <laughs> That's so cool, man. And then the water too. They did a really good job with making this water, man. I'm impressed with how detailed each of these little things are. I mean, look at this. Bro, this is crazy. This is crazy. You can see the little people too. Look at the little people in front of that house, the little yellow house. And then right here you have a Polizei car, <laughs> randomly right there. Look at that, the Politi. We are in Scandinavia right now. We're in Scandinavia? We're in Scandinavia right now. Dude, I can't believe this. This is insane. Oh, dude, look, underneath here. Bro, what? There's the underground trains. Oh, and then the people on the trains. Imagine too, there's a whole underground train system. There's a whole underground train system over here. Yeah, of course. Holy shit. Dude, that's so sick. It's so sick. <laughs> so, I'm about to press this button. Apparently these buttons activate different things. This is like Lager Werkstatt. Werkstatt, uh, this, this warehouse right here. When you're in the Mini Tool of Wonderland, make sure you take your finger and if you see these buttons, you press them. Watch, watch. Huh? Bro, look, it's lighting up. That's so cute. Do you see that? That's so Look at the <laughs> so cool. The forklift, yeah, the forklift is moving. That's what I'm looking at. The forklift, dude, and look at the inside. If you look at the inside of here, it's so detailed, bro. It's not just a regular, it's an actual warehouse. It'd be so cool if it actually picked something up and moved too. It's about to be nighttime, I'm so hyped. It's 15 minutes of daylight, and then how many minutes of nighttime? Five minutes of nighttime. Dude, it's about to, it's nighttime right now, dude. This is so cool. Look, everything is lit up red, as you guys can see. Even the snowy areas are purple. The warehouse areas are red. And like you can tell by the lights, there's like black lights everywhere. And then the actual establishments are lit up. We're about to go check out some of these other little miniature establishments and stuff, man. Oh, there's so many trains. There's so many little people. And it's what's impressive to me are the little people actually move, man. The trains obviously are moving, but then they have some cars that move too. And so, Every car is moving. It's insane. Let's go. Let's go check this out. Yeah. Oh, dude! Look at this. We got a little mine area. So, so this look is at this. The Stepping into the yeah. miniature Wunderland was like entering oh, a dream. Dude. Every corner was a burst of magic, from the tiny intricate landscapes to the quaint detailed villages. The miniature trains that zipped through the stunningly handcrafted environments made me feel like I was a part of this incredible tiny universe. Each exhibit is a testament to unbelievable artistry and precision, and I was oh, absolutely mesmerized. It's about to be morning. Right be morning. Can you see it? the cycle that we were talking about? It's five minutes of night and then 15 minutes minutes of morning, 15 minutes of day, daylight, 15 minutes of daylight. This is so cool. Dude, these trains are the cutest little things, man. Oh, they have the Bergvik Ver, Ber, Ber, Bergvik Ver, Verft, Verft. <laughs> the Bergvik Verft. Look at this, right, right there, you see that little guy? This little guy right there is like lighting up. I'm gonna go press this. Ooh, boom, what's happening? Lighthouse. Oh, the lighthouse is. You're gonna hear this a oh, lot, right there. but oh. pressing those buttons in the miniature of Wunderland is essential to the experience. I mean, you get to see the environment truly come to life if you do that. Greta Thunberg on a piece of ice, dude. That is hilarious. 
<laughs> Bro, this is so cool. So apparently, the boat that we're gonna be seeing move in the water and whatnot, the ships and the boats and whatnot, they, they've wanted the boats to move by themselves for the last 12 years, but they can't figure out a like fixed path that will go consistently. So obviously, if you let the boats kind of do their own thing, they're gonna bump into walls and get stuck and whatnot. So they actually have people controlling the boats. So if it looks like the boats are going in a certain path and they're moving a certain way, there's people that get paid to drive the boats in the miniature room of that. Bro, I feel like a kid in a candy store. I can be here literally for eight hours just like looking at all of this. Okay, listen, for anybody watching this video that has not been here, so this had some time, fly to Hamburg and go to the Miniature Wonderland. You will not regret it. It is beautiful. I'm telling you, I feel like the world's best artists and architects got together and constructed this whole thing based on what it actually exists. It's incredible. What blows my mind is they have people, little people that they built as well. If you've seen the movie Hereditary with the lady that makes the little miniature house and stuff like that it's the same thing but on a grand scale attention to detail is incredible it's absolutely incredible i can't i can't believe this they even have a parking lot dude and the people standing in the parking lot some people getting into arguments in the parking lot <laughs> like that's so You're cool love that next part. oh so like the alpha harmony let's go check it out oh my god this is so cool what the freak guys the alpha harmony and the boats too there's like this, oh my God. There's the train and the Elfa Harmony, bro. It's so cool. So the Elfa Harmony, like we saw, it has a concert hall. It has, uh, you know, a hotel and it has a restaurant and bro. Oh, yo, dude, look at this. Oh my God. I'm going to press the button. Dude, dude, look. I'm going to press the Elfa Harmony button right now. There's my finger. Let's do it. Eins, zwei, drei. Dude. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Dude. Oh my God. Bro. It opens up. Dude, this opens up. This opens up to a concert hall. This is insane. What the fuck? Dude, what the f Dude, this is insane. It opens up to a concert hall and then all of the, the different parts of the Elfa Harmony. You have the hotel part, which we can see. Like, look at each of the floors. That's what's inside? Oh, man. We were literally like live streaming and standing right in this area, which is insane. But now, it's night, oh, it's night again. It's, it's also becoming night right now. The, oh, dude, this is insane. Okay. So, I'm, I'm impressed, dude, I'm so impressed. This is the Elfa Harmony. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> what? Dude, I'm so speechless. You guys were not joking. This is one of the best experiences I've had in Hamburg, but like, it's like every time I have another experience, it just gets better and better and better, bro. And here it's like all of that in one. You can, oh dude, the people are playing. Look, 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 look. The people are actually playing. What? So if I got shrunk and I was a little miniature person, I'd be able to live perfectly fine in here. That's insane. I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised if people told me that the food in here was real. <laughs> and they keep every individual miniature person fed. That's so cool. Oh my God. König der Leuven, yeah. Yes, König der Leuven. Oh my God, it's König der Leuven. It's König der Leuven. Oh my God. This is my feet and then these are the, that's the train. Bro, these are trains. This uh, actual train. What? That's so cool. Dude, there's a train underground. And then, oh, the bridge. The bridge, bro. This is so cool. Look at how beautiful this is, guys. This is one of the most aesthetic bridges I've ever seen. I'm not even sure which bridge this is. 
but this is a beautiful bridge with so many different cars, like live traffic you can see right here. With the, there's bikers, there's people with their, you know, their cars and their top down and stuff like that. You have people on ATVs on, <laughs> in the traffic on this bridge, bro. We've only been here for 20 minutes and the minute of Wunderland and my mind is splattered all over my skull right now because I can't believe how beautiful this is and how intricate this is. When you arrive here and you walk around, take like an hour to really ingest and look at everything because if you don't, man, you're gonna miss out on a lot of little things like there's miniature people, there's many storylines even. If you pay attention, there's things that are happening that they control and it changes by the day. So there's a whole team of people that work here that make sure that things function properly and getting to witness this in person is insane. What's really cool about all of this, right, are the cars and the buses and the trains have minds of their own. They're trying to decide where to go, what routes to take, and it varies. It's not the exact same path every time. That's what is remarkable about this. I'm telling you, the miniature of Wunderland is very thorough. Picture the woman. Picture the woman. That is so cool. Bild der Frau. Why is it der Frau and not die Frau? You also say Bild des Mannes instead of der Mann. Oh, dude. There's a movie. Dude, they have a whole movie here. Dude, look. That's insane. Dude, look at this. The people are watching a movie. <laughs> oh, my God. What are we watching? Welcome to Hamburg. <laughs> I'm getting an absolute kick out of this. They literally have a mini theater right here and they're watching like actual movies over here. I'm mind blown, man. Whoa, what's happening? It's crazy, like when you press a button, you just don't know what's gonna happen. There's like a little like hole in the top of the building. It's so cool. Oh, <laughs> it's like sparkling. Yeah, no, 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 it's, it's burning. It's burning. Oh my gosh, that's fire. Dude, look at the firefighters. They're fighting the fire. <laughs> and then all the little firemen showing up, right? And trying to put out the fire. There's a fire happening here. And in the distance, somebody's throwing a party. They're packing Christmas trees down here. Oh, they are packing Christmas trees. Dude, they're packing Christmas trees down here and stuff? On a train? and getting ready to send these out to all the good families out there. So we're here at the Speicherstadt and this is incredible. Bro, we were just here yesterday. Bro, it's the Mini to Wunderland. Oh my God, this is the Speicherstadt. Oh bro, look at that. The Mini to Wunderland. So we're, oh my God, we're inside this building right now. We're inside the Mini to Wunderland looking at the Miniature Wunderland. We're looking at the exhibit inside the exhibit inside the exhibit. The Miniature Wunderland pays so much attention to the intricacies of each exhibit. If you just take a quick glance, it looks like a cluster of a lot of buildings, trains, and what have you. But if you take a very close look, it is vividly detailed. Oh, it's a party. You can hear the party. Oh, the stadium, dude. <laughs> Party people, all these uh, football fans, man. Yeah. It's a football club. Oh my god, bro. Oh, it's nighttime again. Drek vague, bag, disposal management. Okay. So, boom. Oh, right there. That's so cool. Oh, dude. The <laughs> what the freak? Yeah, it's, the stadium lights are on, man. That's so cool. And they have little TVs inside there too, like we saw earlier. But it's even cooler at night. Everything's so well lit. Everything's so well lit, dude, it's insane. Oh, you see they have the flashes of the people in the crowd taking the pictures and stuff? And you can see the fans holding up the sign in, in the background too. They're holding up their flags representing their teams and stuff. Dude, all of this is unreal. I mean, look at this. This is like insane. Oh, this building over here looks so cool. Look at this. The lights over here in that building. Isn't that cool? Oh, it's spelling something. It says N. <laughs> That's so cool. Auto. Something. It's a whole animation that's happening on that building. Do you see that? That's so cool. And there's a cat. 
Oh my god. Dude, this is so wild, man. You can see in the back the uh, flexible boat that's making a turn in the corner. I think that's absolutely insane. Look at that. Oh my god. You have these stairs down here. Got some people vibing, you know? There's no Netflix and chilling. It's just chilling and gazing upon the beauty that is the Mini Tour Wunderland. So as you can see, this right here, this little structure right here, that machine is supposed to like help drill into the ground. They got a transformer here too. It's a funny little, a funny looking thing. It's, it's funny that they added that there. It's very hilarious. This is nuts. Now, we're taking our journey to the American side of the Miniature Wunderland. Oh my God, they actually built where I live. <laughs> I lived in Florida for four plus years. Pretty accurate, not gonna lie, pretty accurate. They did a great job. Oh, also, in case you're wondering what is behind me, this is a launch pad, and that is the space shuttle button. I'm gonna take my finger and let that thing launch in three, <laughs> two, one, Wow. Look at this. Look at this. This is insane. This is insane. <laughs> oh my. The sound effects are insane too. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> The Grand Canyon, dude, so it's crazy. I actually lived in Arizona for three years. Uh, I'm in the military, you guys know that. So I lived in Arizona for three years and I would actually go up to the Grand Canyon with my friends and hang out and whatnot and see all these really cool sites. And this is accurate as hell. What's really cool is if you look in between the mountain, the mountain ranges, you'll see some uh, airplanes, man, which is really cool. Because you do have people that pilot their own private airplanes. I had a few friends that have private airplanes, propeller planes, and they fly on the whatnot. They got their pilot license. So it's actually really cool to get to see this. So now, after all of what we just saw, we're in Mitteldeutschland. So there's a lot to see here. It's actually a lot more nature-esque than what we saw previously, because of course we were in the city and stuff, and we got to see a lot more city and populated areas and whatnot. Now we're about to see more nature and a, you know some carnival looking things as well. From what I can see right now, a quick idea of what to come is a lot more nature. So we're gonna take a very up close look at all of the little miniature things that are in the nature of Mitteldeutschland and I'm excited. Okay, so they have this little mermaid bit in the water under the sea, <laughs> which is so cool, bro, it's so cool. But it's cool to press these buttons and see the little things kind of come to life. Like over here, I can even press this button and the turbine will spin. Bow! So that's the control center of where everything's located. They have like cameras on everything to make sure that people aren't messing with stuff, make sure that the actual Wunderland is functioning properly. Because obviously if a train t tips over and the place is so big, how would you know? Well, you have a team of people that their job is literally to watch and monitor the whole Wunderland. There's sensors everywhere, cameras everywhere. So if you think that something will go wrong and they won't notice, you're wrong. They're always on top of things, but they'll have a whole, they have so many different people back there. It's insane. That is so cool. And they have a big screen. It looks like a secret layer where they're like in a basement and like, you know, typing and stuff like that, keeping tabs on every section of the miniature Wunderland. Now we're in Snufingen. <laughs> absolutely beautiful and much like Mitteldeutschland this is a lot of greenery and stuff but a lot more sights to see here than even the previous section I guess what's really cool about this place is all of the cars and automobiles and you know different buses trains everything they're programmed to follow the traffic laws of each country so we have like the trains and cars in America trains and cars in Switzerland trains and cars in Netherlands and different countries and they abide by those traffic laws and they have minds of their own so intricate man I don't know who I guess it's not just a who it's multiple who's <laughs> came together to program all of these things right um, and, they're, and it's constantly in development. The Miniature Wunderland channel, which I'm gonna link in the description down below, actually has constant updates on what they, what they change regularly on a daily basis in the Miniature Wunderland. So if you guys didn't know that, now you do. 
the mountains. Oh my God, the mountain range, like right here. So you know they do drone shots for this in real life. I feel like I'm the drone, right? I can just look at all of this and it's beautiful. You have trains that are constantly active, but the railway that goes through the mountains and actually above my head. I mean, look, this is so cool. That's nuts, absolutely nuts. I've only seen videos of this, but I'm, I'm actually here. This is, this is insane. Yo, so there's a gas station with real prices, like the current prices of gas right now, dude, right there. They constantly update this. I'm telling you, operating the miniature Wunderland is a full-time job, and there's so many elements to it, you can only imagine. I mean, ask yourself right now as you're watching this video, what jobs do you think consist of w working at the miniature Wunderland? And if your answer has anything to do with keeping up to date on the latest structures, the latest trends, the latest fashion, the latest automobiles, airplanes, and everything, you're probably right. But there's also things behind the scenes that require people to physically control some of the cars, the boats, the pathways of different things. Look at this, for instance. This cute little like truck, man. All these, tr all the, the traffic at night. There's people that operate that. That's insane to me. But when they operate it, they're, they're monitoring a lot of these trains and cars and stuff to make sure that they don't crash, collide, or like run out of battery or something. Like something doesn't go wrong. And once again, one of the, the things I get a kick out of the most is looking at the inside of all these buildings and really looking at what people are doing. I'm so nosy. I'm so nosy. I want to know what people are doing. So like, for instance, what's inside this little building over here, man? All these people are having a blast and I feel like I'm left out. They didn't invite me to the party. What's going on in there, man? Well, I see a lot of people are eating some food. There's some people up top cooking. And, uh, you know, I think there's like a, I don't know how they were able to fit a car on the third floor of this building, but that's impressive. I don't know how they did that. Maybe they carried it up the stairs. Who knows? <laughs> so cool, bro. So cool. Oh, the gas station at night is such a vibe, such a vibe. Look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> that is so cool. And it's cool, it's, it's, it's like real life. You have some people with their lights on inside their apartments. Some people don't have their lights on. It's so cool, bro. What the freak? <laughs> it's so elaborate. And there's a whole team behind this. What? Holy shit. So I think, I'm not sure if that's like the building on fire or something, is it on fire? Oh damn, the Schloss is on fire, dude. That's crazy. And I'm not sure if they're gonna send like, it'd be cool if they sent fire trucks over there. They might actually, which is gonna be even better, but that's so cool. The Schloss is on fire. Oh, there is. Oh my God, look at that. The fire truck's on the way, look, the Schloss is on fire. Look, the Schloss is on fire. Jesus Christ, look, another one. <laughs> I told you they have storylines, that's insane. It's insane. Well, how, why are they stopping there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my God. Oh, dude, this is so crazy. Oh, dude, the, that's the fire. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, here they go. They're, they're coming to put out the fire, dude. Look at that. That's insane. <laughs> So cute. What? It'd be cool if like some little people got out. I mean, if all, if all fires smelled this good, dude, I mean, I wouldn't mind California having a few more, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> There's like storm clouds over there by the mountain. It's super sick. Prison break. There's a prison break. Oh, there's a prison break? <laughs> Bro. They have a prison break over here, man. We're about to check this out. So yeah, go ahead. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Dude, so there's the cops. The cops are over there like freaking out. There's the searchlights for the people breaking out of prison. Now, where are the people breaking out of prison? On the side? Oh, I see them. They're in the mountains. You see them in the striped, like, so there's a few people wearing striped clothing in the mountains that are climbing up, escaping the prison, bro. And you can see outside the window. It's like, uh, what's that movie called? Shawshank Redemption. You haven't seen the Shawshank Redemption? Oh, wow. Shawshank Redemption, where they like threw the blanket out of the window and stuff here, and then they climbed out and then escaped and whatnot. It's fucking crazy, dude. It's funny, because they're escaping up here, and I guess they have a hookup to get like oh, pair. Oh, oh my God. Why is there a zebra? 
There's a zebra. I don't know why there's a zebra. That's like so random. Maybe the zebra is how they got out. Oh shit. There's storm clouds. Dude, what? Oh my. You can feel the thunder. Oh my god. Yeah, you can feel this, the thunder in here, man. They have storm clouds. Watch this. Watch this. This is wild. This is wild. The th Dude, the storm clouds. Look at that. Dude, what? You can hear the rain, too, in the train. Oh! Oh my god. You hear the kids screaming. <laughs> so, after everything we've just seen, we're headed to the airport in the Minitou of Wunderland. This is crazy. Oh my god, dude, the parking lot here is so accurate. Look at this. <laughs> oh my god, it's insane. They even have like the, the flight line. The flight line is super accurate. Although the jets that are like, oh, they have a right arrival and departure screen right above us with like everything. They have like cameras and stuff that monitor each of the airlines. The airlines have cameras on them like we were saying earlier, but you get to see like them in motion. The Millennium Falcon, dude. So one of you guys is telling me that the Millennium Falcon is here. On the flight line, the Millennium Falcon is right there and they're doing maintenance on it. That's insane. <laughs> it's not smaller than I thought. I thought the Millennium Falcon would be way bigger than what it actually turns out to be. It's, it's not that big. It's a little bit smaller than a 757, a 747. Look at this. Dude, look, 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 look. You can see the taxiway. They're heading over to the aircraft. They're, they're, oh my God, this is insane. This is so cool. Oh, there's more. There's more, there's more, there's more, there's more. There's more. Oh my God, dude, this is so sick. We get to see a few of the planes take off and land over here in the airport section. Like I said, every single section in the Miniature Wonderland has its own schedule, has its own day-to-day -day story plot. You can, you can literally hang by each section all day. Every floor is filled with absolute amazingness. If you look over here, we'll zoom in and you'll see there's a cow on the parking garage. How did they fit this cow here? And then you have a person with a whip. This guy has a whip <laughs> on a trike. They're nuts. And there's a whole car full of people. This is like a massive family trip and they piled out of this tiny vehicle. How did all of these people fit into that tiny little smart car? And then of course, right here you have the nuns. These nuns must have money. These must be the nuns from that movie, The Town, because there's no way they got this Lambo praising Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Again, something's landing. Something's landing. Oh, bro, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, perfect landing, perfect landing, perfect landing. Oh, the plane's on fire. Oh my God. Over there, the plane's on fire. You see that? The plane's on fire. That plane's going through something right now, man. That's so crazy. And look how tiny it is. So much drama for the miniature Wunderland in every single part. There's always something wild going on. So freaking cool, bro. What's interesting is if you look at the wall behind me, they painted the walls so well to reflect the weather and stuff and just the sky, the greenery. It really complements what they built. Oh, we have another plane taking off. Look at this. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh. Bam. Into the cloud flaps. This is the wildest, isn't it, I've ever seen in my life. Like, I've seen exhibits before, but nothing like this. This is the best exhibit I've ever been to. And you guys have to check this out. Take an entire day, come here, and just literally it, take all of this in. Appreciate it. It's so good. It is so good. There's a ton of tourists here, a ton of tourists, just like myself, doing the same thing. We're ogling at this, because we can't believe that they were this detailed with every little thing.
Dude, we're in the Schweiz, which is insane. It's Switzerland for my people who are from America that are watching this. And, that, and it, it looks incredible. A lot more mountainous than anything I've ever seen and incredibly beautiful. If this is what Switzerland truly looks like, I'm going to have to pay it a visit. I heard that it's home to some of the nicest people in the entire world, safest country in the entire world, and richest country in the entire world. Yeah, most expensive, but also tax-friendly country in the entire world, obviously. Europe would not be Europe without its trains. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we were actually at the airport when we were looking across at the Schweiz. Had no idea that this was the Schweiz, but this is actually the Schweiz. It's pretty cool. You have mountain ranges that go farther than the eye can see. Super, super, super incredible. And there's multiple layers of trains on the same mountain. I'm gonna say that again. Multiple layers of trains on the same mountain. You guys probably haven't seen my face as much as my other videos because this place is just so majestic. Over here, there's a concert area and whatnot. And there's a lot of people. They park their cars over here. They have tents and whatnot. It's pretty cool. Um, there's a lot of tents. You might as well call this Tent City over here. There's a lot of tents. People like packed in and piled in. There's like a gate over here for all the people that paid to go to the concert and then the people actually enjoying the concert and there's a giant Buddha looking thing over in that area. And of course, like any proper concert, you see the cars and whatnot filing in. I think they're actually parked on the side of the road. <laughs> and then you have ambulances and fire trucks and some police cars, which is pretty crazy. But look at this. This is like what happens when you press, oh, this is the black light show. So this is a little part lighting up, which is super cool. That's the black light. So at night, this will actually be lit up, but we can't really see it right now because it's during the day, but there will be a night cycle happening soon. So when we press that button, there's a lot that's gonna transpire. They did a very elaborate job with these porta potties, man. I'm not sure what you guys call these in Germany, but maybe just VC, because I mean, that's what they have them too, VC, but bro, you see that? Oh my God. Look at all the people. There's a giant concert over there. Is that Tomorrowland? DJ Bobo. DJ what? DJ Bobo. I don't even know what that is, but that is really cool. There's a concert happening over there in the miniature Wunderland. Look how tall this is. It's absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Welcome to Venice. Uh, so this is very interesting because what we're looking at right here is the most expensive part of the entire Wunderland, miniature Wunderland. Um, apparently they spent over five million dollars on this exhibit alone. It looks beautiful, but can you imagine five million dollars for this? Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. I mean, I could see, but the thing is, I would have thought that like the airport would have been more expensive or the mountain range in Switzerland would have been more expensive, but this is the most expensive thing in the miniature of Wunderland. Insane. And I don't know why that is. So if you guys know why, well, let me know in the comments down below. So this whole area over here is Rome. And as they say, when in Rome. <laughs> and they were not playing when in Rome. Let's take a really close look at what we are observing over here. There's a lot to see, man. There's a lot of ambulances and fire trucks as we can obviously look at and whatnot. And then I think there's this big train station. This train station's not like any other that I've ever seen. If we are over in this area, I'll zoom in a little bit. That's the front of the train station. It looks pretty cool. I mean, it looks a little standard. I mean, aside from the notable giant glass windows right here. You see that? Giant glass windows, the cars sweeping in right there, the buses and whatnot. Very beautiful, very beautiful. And you can look inside, there's like stores and whatnot, things you can buy food and bus tickets and whatnot. But look at this. This is actually what strikes me as very insane. I'm gonna step up here. Ooh. And then above the train station, I, look, the train's coming in. Look, that's the front. And this is what it looks like above the train station. The train's coming in from here and from here. And then you can obviously take a peek inside here in these buildings. They have two buttons. They have China Shop. Is that the very bottom? Yeah. yeah. China Shop's at the very bottom. So if you look in directly right here, it's like something going on in there. Oh, I guess it's a, it stopped. It was something spinning. And it says, you're the celebrity. So, boom. Oh, dude, look at that, dude. Look, 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 look
You're the celebrity. Oh my God. Me? Someone's watching me on TV. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, dude, this is so cool. Oh, look at the city at night. This is so, so cool. Oh my God. Look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mm, so dope. So dope. This is the Coliseum. The Coliseum. They, are, they did a great job with the Coliseum. This is the Coliseum at night, actually. I'm wondering if they actually put lights in the Coliseum. You know, fun fact. Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk were supposed to have a fight to see who would be stronger than who at the Coliseum. And then Elon Musk backed out. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dude, the volcano's erupting. I can see the smoke at the top of the volcano. Oh my God, dude, this is insane. This is insane, bro, what the fuck? This is so cool. This is so cool. Bro, oh my God. This is crazy. You can see, oh, dude, the lava's trickling down the mountain and it looks beautiful. Beautiful, oh, you can see the molten lava like slowly falling off the mountain, man. What? This is beautiful. This is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. This is so cool. I'm not sure if it, they animated the lava trickling down or if that's like some kind of like, I don't know what the, bro, this is so cool. You can see the steam coming out of the volcano from the erupting. And the rumbling, I can feel it in the floor. The floor is literally like shaking a little bit. Dude, this is literally what it's like for a volcano to erupt IRL. But we're seeing it erupt like right there. That is so cool, bro. That's so cool. What the heck? Bro, this is nuts. Oh my God. Bro, it's so cool the, like the, how, how vibrant the lights are at night, man. That's why they chose to um, erupt the, the, the volcano at night. It's so bright, dude. It's so bright, it's actually making the sky turn kind of pink around it a little bit, if you can see it. It's turning a little bit pink and purple. Dude, that is beautiful. There's a whole crowd of people right next to me watching the same thing as well. This is so cool. Bro. Needless to say, we all worked up an appetite sightseeing at the Mini to Wunderland. So we made our way to the cafeteria and got ourselves some really good food. Actually, people can hear me talk right now, so, so dude, this is actually really cool. This is actually what I got for lunch here at the Mini Chou Wunderland. I don't know what this is called, but it looked really delicious, so I decided to get that. And then I have Jägerisch, um, well, schnitzel with uh, mint salsa, but I'm not sure what this salsa is now, so it has um, uh, pilza on it, so really good, obviously really good. Uh, currywurst the f uh, pot with mint pommes, is that nice? I know I told you guys I would never eat it with mayo, so boom, hold on. I'm gonna go ahead and taste it real quick. Oh, the mayo here is amazing. Dude, it's way better than the mayo in the States. Wait, 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 hold on. The mayo here is way better than the mayo in the States. What the fuck? One second, one, one more time. Bro, what the fuck? It's so crazy. It's so crazy. It's so good. Do you like it? The hummus? Didn't you at the beginning, at the very beginning, say the hummus with mayo would never be good? Yeah, exactly. Because of the states. Yeah, because of the states. I had mayo from McDonald's. This is phenomenal. Also, look at what he has, look what he has, and then look what I have. <laughs> I worked up an appetite, man. All that talking and filming worked your boy up. But if you ever do come to the miniature Wonderland, make sure you go through the line, grab some food, and uh, one apple teeth. So we just finished eating. We're about to do the second half of the miniature Wunderland, and then we'll call it a day. Apparently, they're in the process of building uh, Monaco, which is home to one of the most famous inland racetracks in the world. I mean, and also home to some of the wealthiest people in the world. As you can see here, they're not done, but they do have part of it built and whatnot. Part of the inside of the interior of the buildings, which is really cool. Uh, it's very impressive to see how they build these buildings. Because from what I'm seeing, I'm noticing that they build the insides first, they add the people inside, and then they put the outside on them. 
and then you can see like what's going on inside each of the buildings, which is very impressive. Uh, there's the mountain range, which it seems they finish with most of that, and they have this big, huge stadium looking thing. I mean, it is absolutely massive. I don't know what stadium that is, but it looks insane. They have a concert going on inside there, actually. Helena, is it Helena Fisher? Helena Fisher? How old are these houses? This is older than America times 10. All right, so we're looking at one of the Hamburg stadiums and stuff. I don't know which Hamburg stadium this is, so don't quote me on it. <laughs> but this is a Hamburg stadium. But what's cool about this is it said like part of Hamburg right here. But if you go over here, it's like Feuer und Flamme. And then Hamburg, 2024, right? Now, what's even crazier, I'm going to zoom in because look at all this. Look at all this. You see, you see it right here. It says Feuer und Flamme and then 2024, right? I'm going to zoom in to the actual people and you're going to be mind blown. Look at this. Each of the people here have individual poses. Do you see that? They're all colored differently. They each have different poses and none of them have the same pose. This was made with such intricacy. It's insane. Do you see that? That's nuts. Absolutely nuts. And then if you zoom out, it just looks like this. <laughs> Crazy, right? So what we're gonna see very soon is actually some boats over here. There's like a screen that has a kind of like a like a video, like video footage of like the ocean. And then there's boats on top of the screen moving, right? And they have like a machine underneath it that allows the boats to move as if there's waves underneath it, right? And it's the coolest looking thing. I'm staring at it right now and it's beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that was the best tour I've ever gone on in my life. And as far as indoor ex exhibition tours and stuff go, phenomenal. There were so many different elements that I saw. I feel like even after spending six plus hours here at the uh, Min Minia Tour of Wunderland, I could spend another like 72 here and still not see all the little intricacies in the Minia Tour of Wunderland. So, um, if you guys are curious as to what those little sections are and whatnot, I'm going to link their YouTube channel in the description down below because it is absolutely incredible. I had a very good time. It was cool seeing all the little sights and everything and I loved how they added their own sense of humor into the areas <laughs> in the Minia Tour of Wunderland. Now, a lot, some of it isn't finished being built yet because they constantly updated based on what's happening around the world, which is super cool. So, when I come back here in a few years, who knows?